Morning glories in my garden have receded beyond their allowed area. Is there a way to control and remove them? And this is Judy. So, Walter, you know anything about the old morning glory, the bind weed, as most people will call it? Oh, yes, yeah. and it can really be a problem. Oh, it could be a problem. Um, yeah. And my only advice to you is you're just going to have to be diligent. Uh -huh. Try to catch the seedlings and, you know, get, you know, get them pulled out where maybe you can do some spot spraying with something that contains glyphosate or something like that. If you're comfortable doing that, you can treat it that way. But the main thing is you got to keep it from seeding. Mm. You have to keep it from seeding. And the problem with them seeding is they have a very long uh, dormant time as a seed. <laughs> right. I think yeah. like 30 something years yeah, they can lay crazy. dormant. Yeah. So you just got to just keep Keep working and you, you'll eventually win the battle. You'll eventually win it, but you just have to stay on it. Gotta be diligent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, Joel, anything you yeah. wanna add to that? Well, uh, it's good. the reason why the morning glories are such a problem is because they're an invasive weed. Mm -hmm. And they, are, and it's, in some states, they're banned from being planted because uh, they're so yeah. invasive. Yes. So that's, that's the problem she's having. Yeah. And when you have an invasive species like that, yes, it's gonna be hard to take care wow. of. Got to be diligent, pull, pull, pull. Pull. Yeah, get as much as the rhizomes as you possibly can. Yes. Because yeah, they'll grow back prolifically from that. Good luck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be it's, tough. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. But you can get it. Mm -hmm. It'll take some time.